This guy right here, All Might. <laughs> What's up, everyone, and thank you for joining us once again on the D Star Zero One channel. I'm your host, Dexter Raphilis, and thank you for joining us for another unboxing of the amazing Yamaguchi powered by Rebel Tech All Might series number 19. And I've been pretty excited about this one. I can't wait to open it. I want to see how he stands against my Bandai All Might and as well as my Figmas as well. I also have other figures here we're going to compare them to. Most importantly, I'm not going to lie to you guys, the Amazing Yamaguchi line is a hit or miss for me. I did like Deku. Not sure if I'm going to like this one, but we're going to open it up. We're going to see how it is in terms of paint, detail, articulation, and scale, and accessories. I have a very, very limited amount of these at... You know where to go. www.dstartoys.com, your liable source for awesome action figures. That's right. I'm going to be putting these online very soon. Not sure when. I think I only got two pieces, and this is one piece. This actually is on hold for a friend of mine. So we are going to open it up, we're going to see how it is. Again, paint, detail, articulation, and scale, and accessory. Enough of me talking, I talk way too much. Let's see how it is. First and foremost, I just want to thank everyone for the 50k subscribers. Thank you all for subscribing, for watching, for listening to me ramble with Ron about action figures. Thank you. Thank you for giving me your time. I have announced the winners on my community tab here on YouTube uh, for the Rebel Tech Deku and the UI Goku, so if you didn't win, you can always go to twitch.tv forward slash dstar01. I always do giveaways there. If we hit a certain amount, we usually hit around, if we hit around 40 viewers, then we will do a random giveaway. So, you know what? Free stuff, why not? So, let's look at this guy. You're not here to hear about giveaways and whatnot and me getting 50k. No, 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 no. You're actually here for this guy right here. All Might! <laughs> yes, 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 we are here for All Might. And we have that beautiful, beautiful V here for the hair. Swaying in the wind, looking really nice. Very dramatic, very awesome. Dynamic as well. And we got that big, huge smile, the dark eyes right there. So when he's looking up, he's like, ha, ha! Um, so here's the, here's the thing that I was kind of afraid of when it came to this figure. Would these... Uh, shoulder joints be very obvious and to me yes they are but be, these are here so you can have a really nice range of motion which we will look at later at articulation scale let's remove all this plastic stuff first okay let's get rid of all that let's get rid of all that we don't want all this plastic stuff all over uh, one thing I have to know right off the bat this guy is heavy my goodness oh he has some heft to him there's a lot of plastic on this guy my goodness uh, almost as much plastic as a Marvel Legends Juggernaut, which we will compare him to later. But yeah, this is a pretty heavy figure. Let's see if we can find any paint defects. So far, no, there is no paint defects on mine as far as I can see. Really nice. I love the blue, the red, the yellows, everything like that looks really good. Something you expect for a premium action figure. If you were to buy this online, you're looking to spend like shipped with express shipping almost like 90 to 100 dollars so you should expect nothing but premium quality when it comes to a figure like this uh so yeah that is his standard suit right there love the smile love the skin tone there's nothing to complain about here let's do a quick joint check let's see if there's anything that's going to fall off and so far i'm going to have to tell you no nothing is falling off everything is really really tight and whatnot and again, here's some joints that I don't really like about Amazing Yamaguchi is that these are very, very apparent. Uh, that's something that we don't really see with Deku, but you know what? This is a much bigger figure. You have to add all these articulation points in order for him to pose and do all the stuff that you want. So let's move on to articulation and scale. We're going to compare it with other action figures. Let's see how tall he's standing. Let's see if we can get this guy back a little bit. Put the camera down like so. Now, if you guys are wondering where the Wiley e. Coyote cam is, it finally went down on me. So, yeah, I'm gonna get a new one. Don't worry, the top cam is returning, but not for this one. Let's see how tall this guy is standing at the very tippy top of his hair. We're looking at almost eight inches right there. Uh, let's see if we can step that back a little. This guy is actually quite big. Let's see right there. So we're looking at almost uh, eight inches right there. But if you want to go at the very top of his head, we're looking at seven and a quarter inches tall. 
So this is a very, very big boy. Uh, let's see how he compares with other action figures. Here we go. We got the Bandai Anime Heroes All Might, which is my definitive All Might right now. This is the one that sits on my shelf. And let's compare these two. Let's see if we can get them both to stand. And there you have it. So to me, it looks like uh, obviously the Revel Tech is taller, uh, but it's not so much taller than the uh, anime heroes here. So yeah, that's really cool. Obviously, you're going to get more articulation points with this one. So there you have it. Also, the skin tone is really different. Like, look at the Anime Heroes one. That is a really pale skin tone where we're looking at a really more tan and accurate, at least to, in my opinion, accurate skin tone to All Might. Also, we're getting more detail if you look here in his face. Uh, we, we have, like, his, the skin stretching out here because of his huge smile because you always got a smile. You have to have that smile on your face. Whereas this one, not so much. Obviously, you're paying $20 retail price for this one overseas not here in America, and then you're paying 100 bucks. So go figure, you're gonna be paying a lot more for a lot more is what it looks like to me, right? So we're not done We're not done yet when it comes to articulation. I got another big boy here. Let's go Marvel Legends, sure, why not? We have a Marvel Legends Juggernaut. Whew, big boy, two big boys right here. Uh, so there you go, if you want these two to go together, it looks like that will work. Uh, we have a Anime Heroes Deku. So if you couldn't find the amazing Yamaguchi or you didn't win the giveaway, uh, the Anime Heroes one looks like it works really well. You want to bring Goku into the mix? Sure. We have SH Figure Arts Ultra Instinct Goku right there. And last but not least, here we go. Which could be the figure of the year for me. Is the amazing Yamaguchi Deku. So you can put these two together. It looks like they work really, really well. All right, so let's go over articulation. Now, I'm gonna be honest with you, this is the part where I'm probably gonna be really annoyed. There's all kinds of angled joints and whatnot, so we're gonna see. Or maybe not, maybe this one doesn't have those angle joints. We're gonna find out. So we have an up and down here at the toe. We have a, <laughs> a peg right there at the ankle. I noticed this right off the bat. I was like, ooh, that doesn't look as good. But you know what? If you were to have him like running, would you really notice that if you were looking at the foot? Not so much, not so much. So we have a single, no, this looks like a double. No, that is a single joint there at the knee right here. We have a ball joint here at the crotch. Does he have an, a really good ab crunch? Yes, he does. That's why he has those awesome six pack abs right there. Uh, so here's the shoulder joint. So let's see if we can push this. He has to hug himself. If you want to make up for those ugly joints, he has to hug himself. So let's see here. Oh, tight, really tight. And there you have it. So he can hug himself or maybe do the cross arms, right? That's really another pose that you really want to do if, with this much range of motion and articulation points. So there you have it, he can do the cross arms. So yeah. There you have it. Uh, let's see right here. We have bicep swivel as well. We have a single joint here at the elbow and ball and peg here at the wrist and looking to be how many points for articulation. That looks like two points of articulation here at the neck, one at the bottom of the base, one at the top. And whoa, lots, lots of head movement here. Ah, ah, no, that's okay. You can easily pop that back in. Uh, so yeah, let's get some movements here, okay? Let's get some, uh, Let's see if we can get a Detroit Smash. Detroit Smash! Okay, all right, all right. Not too bad. Again, I just don't like this one. That's really the joint I am not enjoying. But you know what? You can really ignore it considering that he has so much range of motion here. He has a side kick right there. He has a front kick right there. Can he do the splits? Almost. He can hug you because he's a good dad. He's the dad you never had. And of course, let's do some sure you can test. Pow! Uppercut! Sure you can! And of course we can do a hurricane kick. And let's see if we can do a superhero landing pose. This is really going to be the pose. Bam! Look at that. Yeah. Uh, kind of yeah? No, it has to be yeah. Boom! That's really what you're going for right here. Let's push this guy back. 
Let's see. Boom. Look at that. Look at that. Wow. Um, here on Twitch, Kevin says those joints are really making the figure look worse than it should be. Honestly, I don't mind it as much as I thought. Um, when it comes to like the old amazing Yamaguchis like Gambit and stuff that where they have clothes that sway in the wind, capes like Batman, those annoy me. They put way too many joints in it. It's just distracting. Where this one, the only one that really distracts me are these shoulder joints. But I'm going to leave it up to everyone on YouTube and Twitch to say, hey, you know, if that's bad or good. But for me, I think it's okay. I think it's all right. It's not awful. I mean, look at this awesome pose right here. I, I really like this pose. So anyway, let's look at accessories here. Like I said, we are missing the top cam. We have the eyebrows right here. I think these are eyebrows. Are they eyebrows? No, they're not eyebrows. What are these? What are they? Oh, those are eyes. These are eye, eye plates? Yeah, those are eye plates. Mm-hmm. Uh, but let's look at that at the showcase on YouTube. We have an angry face right here. Ooh, I like that face. That's really nice. Yeah, those are eyes for sure. Uh, the eyes on these look really good. Here we go. And we have an even more smiley face. Ha <laughs> ha! And we got a bleeding face uh, when he's getting beat up by the Nobus or whatnot. And we got a huge assortment of hands. Let's just look at these. We got a pointing finger. We have the peace finger. We have, he's gonna grab you and throw you for hand. Uh, and <laughs> I'm just gonna say a Kamehameha hands right here. And a salute hand. So it looks like you're gonna get, let's say two, four, six, eight, ten, uh, eleven 11 hands. So don't forget the thumbs up, you only get one. Uh, let's look here at the other accessories. You get, obviously you have to have the smash um, effect pieces right here. Uh, more effect pieces here. This is pretty typical for Amazing Yamaguchi and you get the Amazing Yamaguchi stand. So what we're gonna do now, um, we're not gonna do much. Man, it seems like Deku came with a lot more, right guys? <laughs> like Deku came up with, with, uh, with the power effect pieces. This one, not so much. Uh, when it comes to amazing Yamaguchi, yeah, these these joints just are the shoulder joints especially just kind of annoying me. So let's get some uh, faces in. So we take out this one, and we put it like that. And here he is, bleeding out. Oh, that looks cool. I think that looks really cool. Wow. Okay, and let's take this out again. So there's that one. Uh, we're looking at a more angrier All Might here. There you have it. Angry. Yeah, these faces are not bad. I really like them. I think they're the best part of this figure to me. And let's see if we can get this one in. This is the extremely happy face. Looks like we got this dropped off. Got to be really careful here. And there we go. They have it. Ooh, that one's nice. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ooh, hoo, hoo. that one's my favorite one. Very nice. Okay, um, let's have a thumbs up. Sure. Let's get the thumbs up in there, and we'll look at the other hands on YouTube. Let's see if we're gonna have issues removing the hand, and unfortunately, we kind of do. So this is really tight. I didn't think this was gonna happen. Yeah, I'm gonna, ooh, yeah, I have to take my tools out for this one. This is an extremely tight fit. I have to oil that one up. That looks like that is not coming off anytime soon. Yeah, I'll have to, you'll have to wait for the thumbs up at the end of the video on YouTube. Let's look at this real quick. So we're looking at the smashes here. Let's see what we're looking at. So here we had smash and smash. And last but not least, look at the eyes and stuff like that all at the end. Just really want to get the effects, the faces, and the hands in. All right, so here's the punch effect. Uh, you can put this in the stand. So you can have the Detroit smash, boom, right there. 
and we're gonna look at how that looks like in the showcase so let's come up with a conclusion of this guy of the amazing Yamaguchi all night um, let's put this guy together there we go let's stand him up nice and straight gotta have this this pose we gotta have this pose looking up into the sky Ooh, yeah, there you go. Okay, let's come up with a conclusion. Let's come up with the negatives first. Here's my biggest negative of this figure, and this goes for most amazing Yamaguchi figures. I do not, I do not like these shoulder joints. That's my biggest issue. They're so obvious uh, when I pose them. You got to really finagle them and angle it right when you're taking a nice picture of this guy, so you can hide them. Uh, despite that, actually, all the other joints are decently well hidden. Uh, no issues here. No like super angles like usually what Amazing Yamaguchi does. So I'm pretty satisfied with how he poses all the action poses and whatnot. In fact, this might be when it comes to like Amazing Yamaguchi, uh, despite Deku. I think this one's my favorite one. So him and Deku are like neck and neck, first and second place. First place probably is going to be Deku. But yeah, I have to say it's really nice paint detail, really spot on quality control, spot on all the hands that you get, the effect piece always a welcome addition and uh, yeah I really can't find too much else wrong with him so yeah I have to say this is definitely worth it if you can find it uh, I think I'm gonna put him up on my website on dstartoys.com your liable source for awesome action figures I'm gonna try my best to get more I know these are getting harder and harder to find so yeah I'd have to say he's worth the buy if you can find him and everyone on twitch.tv forward slash dstar01 I think you all agree that this is not a bad piece. I really, really like it. And will it replace my anime heroes one? Well, if I can find another one, yeah, probably. Uh, I really like the way he poses. And I like the skin tone much better. Like the anime heroes one, like the super pale skin tone. Like I'm starting to realize now that I'm seeing this one, this one just looks more accurate, more anime accurate to me. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for everyone for the 50K subscribers. I thank you so much for watching, listening, and whatnot. Uh, prizes will go out. I always do giveaways on twitch.tv forward slash dstar01. If you want to continue the conversation, you can go down the link tree, and we can go to the Discord. I do podcasts every Monday. I also have all my notifications whenever I go on Twitch. I post on YouTube and whatnot. I know the notification system on Twitch and YouTube is not the best. I'm pretty sure Discord has got it all. Continue, this, the, continue the conversation down there. And anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I hope to see you guys next time. Peace.
Thanks for watching. So, rate, comment, and subscribe right here, right there, right here. Yeah.